BuzzFeed asked one of the most important questions imaginable. What if I get a tattoo and then it doesn't look so good four years down the line? Well, they actually found individuals who got tattoos when they were younger, and then decades later, their tattoos still kind of look badass, according to BuzzFeed, but I want to know what you guys think about it. So let's do it. Let's put up some of these pictures. Some of these people are in their 60s, some are older. So there's a gentleman there. Uh, of course, there's a younger picture of him and then an older picture of him. All right. I, you know, <laughs> the only thing about this that makes me uncomfortable are, are the nipple rings. <laughs> yes. Agreed. Right? Everything else seems fine. They look like Moving door on. door knockers. I mean, this grandma is kind of badass. So badass. <laughs> I like that she stretched her ear. She's wearing, wait, can we go back to that? I love that she's wearing like this lovely little floral shirt, like right. floral <laughs> button down shirt, and then she's got the tattoos going on. It's the Martha Stewart collection. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that mm -hmm. would yeah. be hilarious. Okay, can I just say something about this guy? Um, he can get it. He's hot. He can <laughs> He's get hot. It. Yeah. Yeah. Get it, girl. Right. All right. Wow, now he looks like he's actually wearing clothes, and that's the no, genius no. of this tattoo. Can you imagine how many days it took just to get all those tattoos? If not, like a month straight. Years, yeah, because yeah, you have to start small <laughs> and then kind of build on that. Right. For every, now, is that, that's a tramp stamp. Yeah, that's just ironic. That's, yeah. <laughs> right, right. That's just ironic. Yeah, so, you know, all yeah. right, so you guys have seen the pictures. Now I'm going to give you a chance to make a concise point about this. Hank Chen, make your point. I, I love them. I think mm -hmm. they're badass. I think it's great. I think I think what, you know, the piercings are kind of making like, you know, do your ears hang low, do, your, do they wobble to and fro. Kind of, kind of, <laughs> it, that's what makes it, do your parts hang low. Because when you get older, things yeah. just start to go south. They and do? With, with, you know, you don't need help with additional metal pulling it down. That's the only thing I would be cautious of. And I was going to say, any of these women, if they told me to watch my mouth, young man, or to pick up that piece of trash, I'd do it. I really would. I yeah. would be intimidated by yeah, them, to say very the much least. So. Robbie, what about you? I, yeah, I think they're wearing it really well. I think they, it still looks really uh, good on them. But like the one thing I can't help but think is, when you got that tattoo, weren't you like a completely different person yeah. back then? Mm -hmm. Like, And these tattoos, are you still really, your entire life, really? You still want that dragon like around your <laughs> chest, are you sure? And But like the thing that I love is watching these pictures, Every old person, like if they had the fruit covered in tattoos, they're like, like they're you know, they're owning, like, it. They're owning yes. it. They're like, I still am this person. Right. I'm like, well, then good for you. Then you made a good choice by getting that tattoo. I think the confidence <laughs> makes all the difference because, first of all, I, I would never get a tattoo because I'm just not into tattoos. It's not my thing. I'm not really feeling it. But I feel like. If I were to get one at 18, that was when I was still going through my Cholita phase. So I would have like 818 or something stupid. That's like the city that I grew up in, right? Like I'd have a ridiculous tattoo and I would probably regret it. But another thing that I want to say is the best thing you can do, even if you're a little insecure about something, is just own it, right? You got a haircut that you're not too crazy about, doesn't matter, own it. Because when you're confident about it and you act like you love it, other people are going to be like, huh? I like it too, for the most part. Right. Right? So anyway, here's the question for the story. Would you rather, oh, here's the question for the story. Uh, how do you modify your body and appearance to express yourself? Hank. You're saying an additional to like piercing to tattoos? Anything. Right. Anything. Any way that you modify the way you look um, to well, well, express yourself. Okay, well you know what? I didn't know how to dress until I, I think in college. So because I was always a slender guy, uh -huh. you try to overcompensate by getting like the large or the extra large, and then you just look like a gangster, uh -huh. and like not in a good way. And so I didn't know to buy clothes that fit me mm, uh, and, and make you look like, there you go, skinny yeah. boys unite, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, to, you know, to, to make sure that everything sort of, that, that you that you look good, that you photograph well, and, and now you know being in front of the camera is kind of my job. I know how to present myself. But I, I was gonna say about the tattoos thing. I have two tattoos, and I was like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. And a friend of mine who kind of went crazy with tattoos, just like these senior citizens did, told me, well, you know, if if it was something that you wanted at the time, then then you know what's to really regret. Right, so, it represents a part of you yeah. that existed at one point. A history. That's, that's a good point. Yeah, it's like yeah. rings on a tree, I guess. Huh. Yeah. Robbie, what about but you? So, 
for me, I like do not want people to know. Like I just like I will tell you uh, things about me when I want to tell you those things. Mm -hmm. So like I wouldn't want to wear those things on my body. I wouldn't want to, like a slogan or a saying. I'm like, you know what? You'll get to know me. You what do you What do me, you, you know? want people to know though? How do you express yourself? So I think the yeah the only things is like you know like how I dress is yeah. obviously a reflection of who I am. I'll often wear like funny shirts and things yeah. like that. I I am almost always casual and I don't take. Uh, a lot of time prepping myself. And I kind of do want people to know that. I kind of want people to know like... You're that, laid back. That, yeah, exactly. And that's that's how I present myself to yeah. people. Uh, but as far as like a, a tattoo or piercing or like huge expression out to the world, I'm not really big on that actually. So I, I am, but I, I don't think I do anything crazy. But when you really, look for women it's a little different, right? I modified my nose because I didn't like my nose. Um, it looks some, great. At, well, thank you. And at some point, I'll modify other things as they will sag and be in places that I don't want them to be. I put makeup on. That's a way of expressing myself and modifying myself. But in terms of tattoos and piercings, the only like irreverent thing I did was a belly button ring, which I recently took out. I got it when I was 19. I'm 28 now, so I would have had it for 10 years which is kind of crazy. And um, my boyfriend was like, I think I think it's time. I think it's time to get rid of the navel ring. I don't think I'm too old for it, but I want to know what you guys think. Comment in the section below. Tell us how you modify yourself to express yourself, and we will see you guys soon.